what's up guys just must have this video you know i'm going to be talking about the aftermath of hurricane florence so if you want to hear a story and you want to see some pictures and videos you might want to stay tuned so let's get into the video Alright guys, so I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about, you know, this hurricane. Um, well, I do want to start off by saying, like, since I've been born, I think it's only been, like, two hurricanes. The, counting this one, it's only been, like, two, maybe three hurricanes. Yeah, because I was a kid when one came, um not sure when it came but i was like younger when that hurricane came um this one was bad um because it hit north carolina where i live and it happened to hit like like very very bad um it was kind of bad in my area but but it wasn't as bad as like up where my sister lives at like that's like right where it hit and i was like that was bad um but basically we had to well my family evacuated we left we went to virginia um i wish we would have did more while we was there but i mean can't really do too much because it was like it was like raining from time to time in virginia and we actually oh, my bad y'all like i was saying we actually left before it hit Virginia but it was crazy and I actually have some pictures and videos I'm gonna put at the end of the video but I just want to say if you're watching this video I'm glad you're safe because it was like um I heard like eight was it 18 deaths due to the hurricane one story was very very sad it was a mother and a child a tree fell on their house so that was like that was very sad and it happened to be in Wilmington um that's where the storm really hit bad it was flooded I think I think a road collapsed there I, I know there was some road collapse like that had collapsed um think a road and a bridge collapsed and moved it so that's very bad you couldn't get out um a lot of people didn't evacuate you couldn't get out well a lot of people did evacuate but there was a lot of people still there you couldn't get out you couldn't get in for a while so yeah my sister just got back there well you yeah, know she went back like maybe has it yeah it's going on a week ago um I'm like late with these videos, but it's crazy, y'all. I'm glad we left, even though I didn't really. I mean, I wasn't here, so I really can't say too much. But judging by, you know, the town, it didn't really hit hit us as bad as I'm gonna say as. Um, damage, when I mean my damage, like, road collapsing, um, stuff like that. Yes, we had a lot of flooding. There was some roads that started, like, caving in, um, on the sides. But it wasn't, like, as bad as other places where maybe, like, 20 minutes away from me, like, this whole road just, like, fell in so it's not as bad as where i'm at so i'm thankful for that i'm thankful for all the people even if i don't know you if you're safe i made posts talking about some if you're viewing this hoping your family's safe because you know prayers needed to go out to north carolina south carolina uh other states as well um, I also heard that there is another hurricane forming. Um, there is like conspiracy. I guess it's like a conspiracy in a way because um 
some people saying it's a hoax because you know how this generation is you know they can make edits and stuff um you know and boom oh there's really another hurricane a meteorologist said that there wasn't going to be another hurricane so i don't know what to believe um look like i gotta start watching the news or doing something to figure out but yeah we left went to virginia we stayed there i'll say five days because we, we we're in two hotels we stayed in the first one two nights and we stayed in the other one for like two nights and like till the about the afternoon so yeah five days um um the second hotel a bunch of stuff was closer so you know um that was like that's what's up where did we stay the second hotel it was a i think it was a sleep in i think that was the name of it and shout out to them because i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave them down below so like if y'all go to virginia and you're looking for a hotel you want to go there because their prices aren't really too bad um and also they did offer a discount if you were like evacuating so uh, we got a discount because, you know, we came from North Carolina there. So, that was awesome. That's what's up. Um, I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I really can't say too, too much um, because, you know, I wasn't actually, you know, I, I left. But, I mean, I did have, like, an experience because, like, power... Y'all, the power went out for two, I would say two weeks because, um, we left, we, yeah, we left that one week, um, and no one had power, came back and no one still had power, um, some some areas by the time we got back some areas were starting to get power but y'all it was hot with no power like i gotta have some air condition um it just took like a long time for things to get restored um and the stores like i'm not sure i think everything's back open now but a lot of the stores like some well actually you couldn't even get um to like a bunch of stores because flooding was like a major part so you couldn't get to a bunch of stores and once you actually could a lot of stores weren't open or they they will only let like three people in at one time and i mean i get where they're coming from because um some people would get mad about it but you know all the systems are down so, um, you know, they don't want to get robbed or whatever, I would say. But at the end of the day, y'all could have had somebody, you know, like some cashiers checking out every owl or whatever constantly. Make sure nobody taking anything. But I don't think, well, take that back because this world is just crazy nowadays. But I don't think people will probably want to steal around this time but then again this world's crazy now so you can't sleep on nobody um but yeah power's out for a long time and some place like once some places started opening like i don't know like fast food restaurants i don't know if it was safe to eat like if it was safe to eat there um I actually told one of my friends, mm, I don't know, because a lot of them didn't have generators and stuff like that, so they couldn't keep it going. So, how do you know if that food's safe? You know, so I wouldn't eat there for about like a week or so, two weeks, um, so you don't get sick. Some places did have generators, so, you know, or they had like, I know Piggly Wiggly had a van and they put like all the stuff in there so it kept everything cool and it was good. But other places, mm. so, um, 
that's about it. I'm going to keep this video short because I didn't experience a lot. But, like, me versus my sister. My sister evacuated, but she lived, like, she lives, like, mainly where all this stuff happens. So, she could talk a little bit more about, like, what she's seen traveling home. I know it's hard for, um, hard for her to get home. And I think there is a little bit... I don't, I'm not sure if they're still flooding up there, but I know, like, some roads are still, like, blocked, I would say. Um, but, like, us trying to get home, um, we came, like, close. We had to take, like, five different routes to get home. Like, it was that, that bad of flooding. And I also have some videos, so I'm going to show you, because, you know, some of y'all probably, like, it wasn't even that big, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of y'all probably don't even live in North Carolina, so I'm going to show you some videos. And a lot of videos or pictures I couldn't get because it was like, you know, it was gone in the blink of an eye. There were some trees that fell. Came across one tree. It was like a big old tree. It like split, like literally split in half. And then there was like, the other part was like coming forward. So it was like three parts. So I can't really say split in half, but it was split into three parts. But it was like split down the middle, and then one part was falling forward. So that was bad. I also seen um, this was maybe thirty five minutes from where we live. Um, where we live at, um, there's like sides of the roads like fall, like crumbling basically. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Size of the road was crumbling. Um, going into town, there was size of roads crumbling. Where I live at, it was like very small though, so it wasn't like major, it was like more of a minor um one compared to what I seen like farther down the road. But the power was out for a long time. I was mad. A bunch of people were mad. Um, I feel like maybe more people could have been brought in or, you know, they could have worked extra because I didn't really see too many workers. Um, I did stay in the house, but, you know, they got to come on my road so I would hear them. And I did go outside a lot because I had to charge my phone. So I didn't really see too, too many workers, but I'm glad everything's back to normal because, Y'all, I had to go without AC, and, like, I'm always hot, so I needed some air conditioning. Um, but that's about it. So, I have a couple videos and some pictures I want to show you. Like I said, I did not get a lot of stuff because it was, like, literally gone in a, in a blink of an eye. Because by the time I pressed record, we already drove past it. So, but I'm going to show you what I can. But... Um, still, I would say prayers for North Carolina, South Carolina, because, um, this has affected a bunch of people, um, and I'm making this video today, be sound like it was raining, I'm making this video today, um, because we're actually out of school, so, I'm glad we're out of school this week, um, I also feel like we should be out of school next week, too, because a lot of people have to travel back to North Carolina or where they evacuated from um a lot of people gotta you know get their stuff together make sure their house is situated they got other worries than just going to school right now but all right I'm gonna show y'all the clips and then the video will end so I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day stay tuned for the other clips and I'm out. Peace.